and welcome in our new video update about Kingdom Come Deliverance and open world medieval RPG. Today we are going to speak about our RPG and clothing systems and I hope that this tower will not fall on us as we speak. We are getting a lot of questions about RPG, how it's going to work, how many stats and skills are going to be in the game and obviously how complex it's going to be since there is no magic involved. It's going to be very complex, trust me. And let Victor, our lead designer, tell you more about it now. We are creating a historical realistic game, but yes, it's also an RPG. And RPG elements are very important for your gameplay experience. First of all, we want to let you play any way you want. Your gaming character gets better at what you are actually doing. So when you fight a lot, he gets better at fighting. You talk to the people and you may get better prices in shops or persuade someone to do something even without a fight. So you have stats, it's like attributes of your character, and then you have skills that you learn and improve throughout the game. Skills like fighting with a sword, riding a horse, uh, sneaking, lockpicking, etc. If you want to level up something you don't do that often, you can visit a trainer. Good example for this is a combat, because we use uh, real-time first-person uh, close combat that is quite action-oriented and it may get quite difficult if you encounter tougher opponents. But the actual difficulty of the combat is influenced heavily by the fencing skill of your character. So if you are beaten too often, you can go to the trainer, pay for a lesson, gain a level or two, and then get your revenge. Stats are not important just for the player. We have a stats for every single item in the game. Every item, for example, has its own quality which indicates how fast it's gonna get damaged. In case of food, it means how fast it's gonna rot. Yeah, we have a rotting food, and that means that you cannot have raw meat in the inventory forever. Weapons have three different types of attacks, and every armor has three corresponding types of defense. For example, this thing is not very good for slashing, but it has very good blunt damage. We have many types of weapons in the game. For example, you can have a strong, sturdy sword, which can withstand a lot of abuse and do a lot of damage, but it's heavy and slow. Or you can have a lighter sword, faster sword, which is as lethal, but on the expense of getting more damage in the combat. Which can be compensated by proper handling by experienced swordsmen, in this case, player with high fencing skill. And all those things combined together bring nice survival element into the game. It's not that easy task to survive in the medieval world. You need to eat, you need to rest, and everything is influenced by everything. If you get injured, the combat is much more difficult. If you are tired, you will not be able to negotiate with people that easily. If you get drunk, you will be tougher, but you will pay your price next morning. Interesting part is that all NPCs use the same system. So they also need to eat, they also need to sleep, and you can exploit it. So you can poison their food, or you can uh, rob the house while they are sleeping. And by the way, animals use the same RPG systems too. So they also have stats, they also have skills. A uh, horse can be faster or stronger. A uh, rabbit can be more sneaky and surprise you from behind. Important part of every RPG is its character customization. And I dare to say that in Kingdom Come Deliverance we have one of the most complex and sophisticated clothing systems ever created for a game. We have four layers of clothes on the character and 20 slots for armor, weapons and accessories, uh, which gives us almost unlimited options of character customization and thousands of combinations. We are trying to be as realistic as possible, so first I studied how actual armor looks and works. And I realized that it's very different than in most games. It's not just armor, helmet and pants in a few different slots, it's much more complex, consists of a lot of pieces that are combined together and each serves different purpose. So I realized that we need something more. We need layers. So the first layer is Gambeson. Gambeson is made of heavy linen cloth. It's stuffed with horse hairs, clap clothing, virtually anything you can find and it's soft you can put in Gambeson. Gambeson is also called padded armor because it softens the blows it will land on the upper layers. You can wear it solo, as often 
not rich soldiers did, but you can also done other layers upon it. Having a squire is a definitely an advantage in the Middle Ages. So second layer is chainmail. Chainmail, for those of you who do not know, is a mesh of interlinking metal rings uh, bind together. As you can see, each ring is riveted so it doesn't fall apart easily. And this is quite heavy to lift just in arms, but if you put it on your body, uh, the weight distributes evenly, so it feels lighter. If you are donning chainmail for the first time, I definitely recommend this, so you don't get your hair stuck in the metal rings. Finally, you have your plate armor, which consists of different uh, parts, various shapes and sizes, serving different purposes, protecting different parts of the body. I only have some parts here because the full armor is pretty expensive and heavy. So this is a chest plate, and then I have a pair of counters, which will come at my elbows later. And plate armor was really the symbol of knighthood, as it was the most expensive armor you can get and the shiniest, obviously. So this is the highest protective layer, but on top of that in the game and even in real world we have a, another layer which could be tabard or a coat. So tabard was put over the armor usually, uh, to show uh, the insignia of the night and also to protect it from, uh, from the sun because this gets very hot when, when you are on the sun. Uh, or you can use cold uh, and that's in the game as well. And then we go to the helmet. Yes, because no reasonable combatant in 15th century would attend a fight without a proper head protection. In Kingdom Come we have various uh, shapes and sizes for helmets. This is a classical bell-shaped uh, kettle hat and I will done it uh, along with this uh, male neck protection because this protects head, but you also need to protect your neck, so I will done this. And also and this. Also uh, padding for my head so I don't get a ring. Now the funny part starts, we have to put it down. So for example, imagine if you are cut into the hand with an axe and you start bleeding underneath the armor, you have to put it down and it takes forever and you can do it alone, so you will die. That sounds absolutely amazing, but there's a reason why no one did it before. It wasn't possible. It requires a lot of processing power and it's also very challenging for the character artists, who have to model every single piece of clothing separately and make sure that it works together with every other piece of clothing in the game. They have to prevent the bottom layers from popping through the upper layers and make sure that all combinations will look right among many other things. Our engineers and character artists rose to the challenge and the result is very unique. We have developed a way to morph layers that are not visible, so they do not interfere with the upper ones and now we can clothe characters in multiple layers in a very realistic manner. Uh, we also have a system for damage and dirt. You need to take care of your equipment. You need to repair your armor because when it's broken, it's broken. If you are too dirty, you can have troubles in the city or while shopping, people will not talk to you, etc. Also, everything you can see on any NPC can be looted. So if you, for example, 
find the bandit, you kill him and uh, grab his armor. You can go to the bandit camp and if you are convincing enough, they may think you are bandit too and they will not attack you and you can finish the quest some unusual way. And the armor value is not the only important stat on your equipment. Uh, you need appropriate clothing for special situation. If you go shopping, it's much better if you have something fancier on you. If you want to get some information from a beggar, it's much better to dress as a beggar and he will talk to you. We want to create a believable medieval world and the RPG system is not against it, it's there to support it. So, that's our RPG and character customization system. I hope you like it. If you do, you can still pledge for the game on our website and play the beta. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.